Welcome to the 2017 Tokyo Motor Show, and I'm going to give you a guide to all the best cars. Right then, let's kick off with some cars, and one of the stars of the show has to be the Honda Sports EV concept. This compact coupe runs on battery power, and it's just so pretty. From the beautiful now to the bizarre, because Honda catered for the hot dog on demand market with an electric food store that follows you around and you can actually sit on and drive. How odd. Over at the Subaru stand, the Visiv concept gives a big hint to what the next WRX will look like. True to Subaru tradition, it gets four-wheel drive and a four-cylinder boxer engine. Less traditional though is this tent that Subaru will stick on its cars for those who are keen at stargazing. Hmm. If you'd rather look at the stars on the side of a hotel, the Toyota Century will be more your thing. The Porsche's car on a packed Toyota stand is powered by a V8 hybrid and gets wool on its seats. It's kind of cool though. From today's luxury to the future, the fine comfort ride suggests that Toyota's next generation of posh cars may get hydrogen power. At the other end of the scale is the TG Cruiser. It's crossed between a van and an SUV, or you could just call it a sports utility van. But how about this crown concept, which was actually the most sensible model on a stand full of mad Toyota concepts? In fact, can we have this rear-wheel drive car instead of the Avensis in Europe, please? Also, can we have this, the GRHV? It's a hybrid coupe based on the GT86. It gets a manual shift pattern to control an automatic gearbox. Confused? Yeah, just think of it as using a manual without a clutch. However, it wasn't all about cars you can drive yourself on the Toyota stand. They also showed off their new taxi, which looks a little bit like a London black cab, but even less pretty, and a hydrogen fuel cell bus, which they'll put on the roads ready for the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. Finally, we move on to the iRide and iWalk concepts, which are designed to help people with mobility problems and feature artificial intelligence so that the car can actually interact with you. Continuing the weird theme was Suzuki. Its stand was full of the weird and the wonderful, but mainly the weird. There was the Retro XB, the Spacia K car, and the E-Survivor off-roader. It has an electric motor in each wheel and huge ground clearance, but that will mean that getting in and out won't be too dignified, especially if you're wearing as little as what she's got on. Speaking of a female presence at a Tokyo Motor Show, it appears that it isn't quite as politically correct as the European events. I think I'll pause for thought now, just to let that sink in. Right, let's move on with something more sensible. And Nissan has pushed forward with its electric plans with a couple of sporty numbers. The mean-looking Leaf Nismo should be as quick from 0 to 62 miles an hour as a Ford Focus RS, while the IMX SUV has twin electric motors to produce 435 horsepower and 700 newton meters. Meanwhile, the Lexus LS Plus concept shows that the firm is planning to produce autonomous technology to its flagship by 2020. If you want something even more outrageous looking, how about this, the Yamaha Crosshub. Inside it gets diamond seating layout, with the driver in the middle and two passengers either side and someone in the very rear. Also, it's designed for people with an active lifestyle as you can put a couple of Scrambler motorbikes on the back. And speaking of having a scramble, it was pretty tricky to get close to the Mazda stand, as everyone was crowding around the new Kai concept, which previews the next Mazda 3. Also, Mazda showed off the Vision Coupe, which, sadly, is just a concept. Yes, they should make it, because it's just so beautiful. Finally, we come to the Daihatsu stand. Now, Daihatsu don't actually sell cars in the UK anymore, but if it starts making stuff as cute as the DN Compagno, yep, yeah, we might want them back. As for the DN Pro Cargo and DN Trek compact SUV, yeah, not so much. Well, that's the Tokyo Mario Show, done and dusted for another year. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. 